हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीत कांत अरोड़ा आई एम हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट न्यूरो सर्जरी इन मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल गुरुग्राम क्रेनियोवर्टिब्रल जंक्शन अनामलिस कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स कंजनाइटल एज वेल एज एक्वायर्ड कंजनाइटल इन्वॉल्व बेसिलर इन्वेजिनेशन एटलेंटो एक्जेल डिसलोकेशन क्लिपल फील माल फॉर्मेशन अलॉट ऑफ द टाइम्स दिमटम्स इन दीज केसेस आर मिक्सड एंड दे कैन बी ओवरलैप सो to diagnose a craniovertebral junction anomaly what we usually do is we get a mri and we get a ct of craniovertebral junction dynamic x ray also helps in getting to know about the mobile atlanto axial dislocation patients usually presents with varied clinical symptoms that might start from having pain in the neck as well as restriction in the uh, neck movements and they can also present with weakness numbness or even myelopathy in severe cases there might be brain stem compression which might lead to symptoms such as difficulty in swallowing difficulty in breathing and that can be life threatening as well treatment approaches to craniovertebral junction are usually surgical in minor cases they can be managed with either brace or uh, physiotherapy but in moderate to severe cases generally a surgery is required in terms of surgery the usual done procedures are decompression with fixation and fusion with time there have been a lot of advances which have come up in craniovertebral junction uh, surgeries which include neuro navigation neuro monitoring which have made the surgery much more safer and in terms of prognosis the outcomes are much better with these advanced technologies to conclude craniovertebral junction anomalies uh, we need to have a fine very fine nuanced knowledge of the anatomy as well as early diagnosis is imperative if the diagnosis and the management proper management is done in time the results are very good and the quality of life and prognosis is very good